Right. We're well into that second game. All right. So those are our two returning bowlers, and they will be challenged by two incoming bowlers coming to us from a final roll-off held in the Cape Cod area of Massachusetts from East Boston, Massachusetts, Bruno DeFeo, and from Falmouth, Mass, Steve Plant. Okay, Bruno comes in averaging 124, and Steve Plant is at 118. And we should mention uh, this is a different Steve Plant than the uh, Steve Plant with an E on the end who's been with us uh, many times before from Manchester, New Hampshire. So the Cape Area Bowlers joining us for this roll-off, and that gives us our four bowlers. Now, if you're joining us for the first time here on Candlepin Skins, or you're not quite familiar with how the show works, Here's how it goes on the program. The four bowlers compete individually, and they roll one box at a time. It's a very difficult format, throwing one box and then sitting down while other bowlers bowl. The high score in each box wins the skin or the dollar value assigned to that box. If the high score is tied by two or more bowlers in a box, then we have a carryover and the dollars mount up. The top two bowlers in total pinfall return week to week with a chance to earn more money. So we actually have two competitions going in at once, one for skins prize money and one for total pinfall. Now we bowl a total of two games here on the show during the hour. The first three boxes of each game are worth $20. The next three are worth $25. The next three boxes are worth $30 each. And the tenth box in each game worth $75. That's how it works here on Candlepin Skins. It's a lot of fun, fast paced. We hope you'll stay with us. We'll begin the show right after this timeout. Don't go away. Candlepin Skins is brought to you in part by Tri-State Megabucks. And now with Mega Cash, choose your dream. Once again, the final roll-off for today's show was held in the Cape Cod area, actually at the Westgate Lanes in Brockton. And Bruno DeFeo was on top of the list at 633. Steve Plant also qualifying for his first appearance on the wins with a 610, just one pin ahead of Craig Holbrook. But look at those scores from second to fifth. Jim Gregatis just missed by a couple of pins, and Don Santiago just missing also. But uh, Bruno and Steve are here, and they are ready to go here on Candle Pin Skins to challenge uh, our returning bowlers, Dave Purcell and Mike Giusti. And Steve will get us going on lane four. And now Bruno on lane three. Straight through the heart, he gets an extra couple of pins. Remember, $20 skin here in the first. Both Steve and Bruno will be open here in the first box. Steve takes eight. And Bruno with a nine. And we're underway. Candlepin Skins brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always the real thing. Always Coca-Cola. Mike Juicy. Boy, I was going to say, how did that 10 pin stay up? <laughs> well, a slow motion there, and looked like he was going to stand right back up again, but he's going to shoot at the three, uh, two, four, and seven. Nope, off target for Mike. And now Dave will shoot at the two, four, five, uh, I don't know, on the wrong side of the lane, three, five, <laughs> six, and ten. I'll get, I'll get it straight. Well, a nine leads for the skin right now. There'll be no marks here in the first, obviously. Could be a big pin for Mike. He's got it for 10. Is it enough to win the skin? No, no it is not. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a carryover with 10s. That's how it works here on Candle Pin Skins. So that money will roll over into the second box, which will now be worth $40. Feo chops out just the three. Big nine drop for Steve Plant. Good chance for a spare on the four pin with a piece of wood next to it. So Bruno knocked down one and Steve left one. Plays it well for the spare. 
First mark of the show. And Bruno will kick out an extra pin and take another nine. Dave Purcell next to throw, won $310 in skins last week with his 259 total. And as a result, is the number one seed for this show, if you will, bowling in that anchor position, the fourth position. And he's looking at the one and the two. Mike Juicy looking at the five, six, ten with a piece of wood in front of the six, ten. Remember, a spare is already up for the skin, and Dave misfires. Let's see if Mike can catch one. No. So give the skin to Steve Plant for $40. And it's still there, a nine box for Dave Purcell. Likewise for Mike Juicy. so three nines and a spare. The spare takes the skin, and we move to the third box, which will be worth $20. And Steve Plant working on that spare. Steve from Falmouth, Mass. Does a lot of his bowling in Falmouth. And there is a strike for Bruno DeFeo. He's tripping out the seven and the eight pin. Steve Plant. Try to go two spares in a row. Not going to happen. You get six on the first one. Steve takes nine. He's at 33 through three, and the strike for Bruno to fail. And that will be a carryover. That's settled. And Dave Purcell has one as well. Three strikes in a row. Bruno DeFeo, Mike Giusti, and Dave Purcell all with strikes. Here's the one by Mike Giusti. Wow. That happened quickly. So our carryover now to the fourth will be worth $45. And Bruno DeFeo on his strike. Three chances for a double strike here. Oh. Wow. That Every, close. Everything but the 10. Steve Plant, the only bowler who did not strike in that third box. Kicks out the seven pin, which should help. Three, five, six, 10 left for him. Meanwhile, Bruno trying to get the 10 pin for a spare on strike. And I don't know about that one. I, I, We may have to uh, double check the tape on that one during the break. We'll mark it as a spare for now. But it was very close. Nine box for Steve Plant. I saw the wood move in the channel, but I, I, I think it moved after he had the 10 pin. OK. But uh, we can take a look at it just to make sure. All right, well, for now, we'll give Bruno a spare. We'll check that during our uh, upcoming timeout. Both Dave and Mike working on strikes here. And they both drop eight. We have a spare up for the skin by Bruno already. No, oh, Dave misfires. Let's see if Mike can get his. He does for the carryover. And spare on strike. Dave has to settle for 10. So another carryover, that will make the fifth box worth $70. Of course, we should remind you that if it turns out that that's not a spare for Bruno DeFeo, then Mike Giusti will win that skin. So pending that uh, ruling, Bruno with eight. 
Leaves himself the eight and the 10. Piece of wood out in front. She's going to need both the pin and the ball to, to get both of those pins. Looks like it played the red line. And hopefully the ball will come off the left side wall for the eight that would take the 10. Let's see what happens. And oh, ball no. just came in front of it, <laughs> but just missing the eight pin. Did all he could do. Eight box for Steve Plant. And Bruno will put up a nine. So he's at 65 through five. Let's see what happened on that spare attempt. No, oh, there's the ball. Just hit just to the right of that eight pin. Did everything he could do. He brought the piece of wood out of the channel, but nothing helped him. Mike Juicy now on his spare. And look out. He's got nine more. And a good chance for another spare, although the wood's way out in front. Mike's taking a look at it. He throws so hard, too, the ball is going to fly. Now, whether the pin does the same thing. Straight back for him. And that will win the skin unless uh, Dave can show us a shot here. No, nope, he turned away. He knew he had missed it. So that's a $70 skin from Mike Giusti. Oh, and Dave Purcell misfires again. He'll take just seven. So Dave Purcell at 55. Mike Giusti in the lead with a spare up. Bruno DeFeo just behind at 65. And Steve Plant at 50 through five. We'll check that uh, shot that we were talking about during the break and come back with more of game one on Candlepin Skins. Candlepin Skins is brought to you in part by Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Well, we checked this shot back in the fourth frame from Bruno DeFeo, and it was very close, but watch the ball as it goes down the lane. It will just begin to clip the 10 pin right there and before the it hits the piece of wood in the channel. So just by the narrowest of my, we had to look at that. You saw it in live action, well, which yeah, is very impressive. Yeah, I know. But we had to look at that one three or four times before we could make a decision. <laughs> oh boy. It was very close. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> make one call a year. <laughs> and now here's Bruno in the sixth box. People think I'm overpaid. Now they know. <laughs> <laughs> That was very impressive because normally when you see the, uh, I mean, in live action, we could see that the wood in the channel moved. And normally moved that means that the ball hit the wood first. Well, uh, that dispels that theory because. Yeah. Uh, Especially because it appeared that the wood was far enough in front yeah. of the 10 pin that it looked like there was no way he could have hit the pin first. But that was a very, very close call. So everything stays as it was before we went to the break. And this is a $25 skin here in the sixth. A 10 for Bruno DeFeo and an eight for Steve Plant, who has hit a dry spell here all of a sudden. He's opened the last four boxes. Candlepin skins brought to you in part by Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Come to Salem and save. Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan in Salem, New Hampshire. That'll be a fun shot for Dave Purcell. Well, the way the wood's situated. Um, oh, look out. It's not going to make any difference for the skin, but for the total pinfall score, he's got a chance to make this spare. For, well, he's missed the two pin. Mike Giusti wins the skin with the strike. And that's four marks in a row for Mike. He did this uh, last week in the second game. Right. He was trailing, and he. Strike, spare, strike, spare, I believe. Dale Angelotti had to do a little house cleaning down on the pin deck. Dale handling the lob line in the pin deck for us today. A nine for Dave Purcell, and here's the big strike for Mike Giusti. Just had the weight on the five pin. Steve Plant, dead on the head pin. Well, if the wood stays there, he's got a chance. Bruno DeFeo, also dead on the head pin. Two 
different splits here, both difficult, but both with a shot. Favorable wood on both shots. Yep. Oh boy. I thought he had a real shot at making the 4-7 as well. Bruno's gonna shoot a 3-6-10 with the four pin, but a piece of wood next to that three. And Ooh. he too leaves one standing. The wood didn't go where we expected. No, not at all. 10 for Steve. And for Bruno. So a pair of 10s up for the skin. It's worth $30 here in the seventh. Don't forget, Candlepin Stars and Strikes tomorrow at noon from Park Place Lanes here on the Winds of New England. As we wind ever closer toward the Tournament of Champions. Dave Purcell just turned away from that shot. It didn't turn out too bad. <laughs> Both difficult shots here, though, for spare attempts. And Mike misfired on his. Yeah, just five on that strike. And we're going to have a carryover. Eight in the box for Mike. And a 10 for Dave Purcell, but we already had a carryover with 10s. So the eighth box will be worth $60 now. Bruno DeFeo from East Boston. Brooklyn hit, and Coming a good back. one. It'll be a nine drop. Steve Plant slipped a little bit at the line, but he will also have a nine drop. The more difficult 10 pin, where Bruno has the three. Uh oh, it's a little difficult too at times. And Steve makes his for the spare, a much needed spare. After five open frames, Bruno has now been open four in a row. He's at 95 through eight. So the spare for Steve Plant leads for the skin. Right now the pinfall leader is Mike Giusti. Dave Purcell looking to try and recapture some of the magic from a week ago. He has only one mark to this point. And no skins. Last week it was, uh, first game it was Rich Lottie and Dave winning all the skins. And of course Dave went on to win several in that second game as well. And whoa. -hoo -hoo. Oh boy. And no spares there. So that's going to be a skin for $60 for Steve Plant. He's up to $100 now. A nine for Dave and a 10 for Mike Giusti. Mike continues in the lead at 111. Bruno DeFeo second at 95. $30 skin here in the ninth. And Steve Plant working on a spare. Right. And he takes nine more. Right in the pocket leaves the seven pin. Piece of wood rolling out now. It could be out of play. And it is. Got a nice little guide, though, with that piece of, a couple pieces of wood there. <laughs> two pieces of wood in play and two more in the channel that you can't see. You might want to play channel. the wood to the right just for that reason. I don't want to clip that wood in the channel, the two pieces. That's what he's trying. He might be a little high. Oh, boy. <laughs> Doesn't look any different now once it's up on a scoreboard. <laughs> Bruno trying to split the two and the four to grab the ten. So again, Steve will lead, lead for the skin in the ninth with a spare. And a nine for Bruno. 
And here's the uh, deflection now by Steve Plant off the wood. Steve gets very low. Played that one right off the cap. Yeah. Mike Juicy has the half Worcester. And Dave Purcell has one on the other side. <laughs> Mike having a little chuckle about the whole thing. Oh, playing it on the inside. Didn't quite get enough of the head pin. Likely that Steve Plant is going to win himself another skin here, and he will. $30 more. That's an eight for Michael. Gives him 119 through nine frames, and just a six for Dave Purcell. It gives him 89 through nine. Dave Purcell in fourth place at the moment. After that six box. And Steve has a chance with a decent fill to climb into second spot, passing Bruno. We move to the 10th, which is worth $75, and Bruno DeFeo has a half Worcester. That's catching. <laughs> we'll have a clean sweep if uh, Steve throws one. We've had three in a row. Well, Steve's working on a spare. He doesn't really want a half Worcester, and he <laughs> almost had one. Well, he got an extra pin. Kicked out the seven as well, so it's four on the spare. Oh, nice shot by Bruno. And Bruno had a couple of early marks, and now he's gone cold at the end of the game. Well, Steve Plant will have to rethink his strategy for the third ball. Bruno works out the half Worcester for a 10, a 114 for him in the first game. And Steve Plant trying to get as many as he can, and he gets eight for a 109. So he doesn't quite catch Bruno. Bruno leading in the 10th frame for the skin with a 10 box. It would appear Mike Giusti will be in the lead for total pinfall. He already is at 119. Oh, great hit. Looked a little full when it went down there, but boy, he got everything but the 10 pin. Mike Giusti has an interesting leave, too. One seven nine ten. Never. First, Dave will shoot at the ten. Oh, yeah. hang on, no. missed it. I was gonna say it's important that he didn't knock it over because uh, that keeps him alive for a ten box at least. Well, it looks like he may be the savior for this skin. But, ooh. No. Oh, yes, well, I understand. Well, I understand now. Okay. Well, All right. Dave not throwing the ball particularly well here in the end of this first game, so why not? Play the wood, make sure you create the carryover. So we'll have a $95 carryover skin to start game two. Mike Giusti in the overall lead at 127. Bruno DeFeo running second here on Candlepin Skin. Steve Plant is the big money winner so far at $130. Mike Giusti is also on the board with 95. Bruno and Dave hoping to change this around in game two, but uh, Mike Giusti is the overall pinfall leader. Everybody's still well in the match here. Steve Plant to lead it off in game two. We have a $95 carryover skin to start this second game. Bruno DeFeo has the half Worcester. Very rarely do you see a half Worcester and a piece of wood in the channel. Did you see where that came from? It like it went into the pit and then it came back down on the left of the uh, seven pin. Clean spare for Steve Plant. Gives himself the early advantage for the skin. Bruno trying to work his way out of another half Worcester. And he'll take an eight. So Steve Plant with the spare has the early edge here. Candlepin Skins brought to you in part by Tri-State Megabucks. And now with Mega Cash, choose your dream. Tri-State Megabucks. Oh, and how about that? Wow. For a backdoor strike for Mike Giusti. Is he going to win $95 on that strike? Yes, he is. I, I don't think he'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's already spent it, Dan. <laughs> 
He's just doubled his winnings. He's up to $190 now. Where did that ball hit? I wasn't even sure when he threw it. He was uh, quite far to the left. <laughs> Six box for Dave Purcell. Dave's got to get some work done to get his streak continued. How about this strike? Right on the two pin. <laughs> sure, why not? Hey, works. $20 skin here in the second. Bruno DeFeo. Great pocket hit. And he has a wobbling six pin. Steve Plant on a spare. Catches the head pin. He'll take at least seven. Seven it'll be. A couple of chances for spares here. Bruno gets his. He was all over that one. <laughs> Thankfully for him, the uh, wood was frozen in the back. Meanwhile, Steve will shoot at the 2-4-5 with a piece of wood. Oh, yeah. Two in a row for him. It'll take a strike to win the skin. Usually, you know, a lot of times you get a, a lucky strike like Mike just did, and then you bury one in the pocket and you get your double strike. See if that happens in case of Mike. Well, oh, there's Dave one. Purcell. That's his first mark in about a month and a half here. Well, not really. <laughs> he had a bunch of them last week. <laughs> Dave wins the skin. $20, his first of the day. Mike Juicy looking for spare on strike, and no. Gives him Nate Phil on the strike, though, and he'll maintain the lead at least for a while. The other three bowlers all working on marks. Dave Strike, only his second mark of the day, and the other one was nine boxes ago. There's no question about this one. Cleared him out in a hurry. Steve will fill the spare in the second. Well, Dave Purcell is the one most in need of marks because he's running fourth right now. Six fill for Steve Plant. Uh-oh, Bruno with just one on his spare. And that's the second time he's done that today. The other time wasn't on a spare. I was just gonna say, just yeah, he took a two pin out or a three pin, one of those. Ten for Steve Plant. As he's trying to make a charge. Nine for Bruno DeFeo. Bruno loses the effect of the spare in the second. $20 skin here in the third. Again, the cumulative two-game total pinfall at the bottom of the screen. And you see Dave Purcell at 115 uh, in need of marks. He'll be working on a strike here after Mike Giusti. Mike has the 178. Now Dave. Uh, not what he was looking for, but he'll have another ball to fill his strike. And Mike converts the spare. That was a difficult spare on the 178, too. Um, very nicely done by Mike. And, oh, oh, look at that. Uh, got a little tickle on the eight pin, but not enough. So the skin goes to Mike Giusti. And the 10 for Dave. Well, Mike has two of the three skins in this game, and that was a fine shot. $25 skin now here in the fourth. And Bruno DeFeo trying to bounce back, and he gets his strike. He's hanging tough. That's his second strike of the day. Now Steve Plant just missing the head pin. They shoot at the four horsemen left plus the nine. Much needed strike by Bruno. Fighting Steve and Dave for second place. 
But Mike is not that far ahead, although he's working on a spare. Man, that'll be a nine for Steve Plant. But the strike for Bruno DeVeo leads for the skin. Had to wait a while on this 10 pin, though. Bruno doesn't have a skin yet today. Hoping to get one here. Oh, no. He won't get this one either. Dave Purcell with a big bomb. And oh. Oh, Mike Giusti has one, too. Wow. This is Mike Giusti's strike. Pins flying all over the place here. So the carryover with strikes means we'll have a $50 fifth box. That was Mike's strike. That was quick, but Dave's was even faster than that. And Steve will bowl here in the fifth. And let's see. Well, one, he's going to have a eight. shot at the 178 also. Oh, Bruno was a little full on that shot. He got away with it. For the spare, Steve Plant. And no. Bruno will take seven on his strike. Steve Plant records a 10. He's trying to hang on to second place right now. Bruno with eight. Bruno's right behind Steve, though, just four pins back. Mike Giusti still in the overall lead, as you see, and working on a strike. Dave Purcell still with a lot of work to do if he wants to keep the streak alive. Oof. Right through the middle, one, five, and nine. Wow, and Dave Purcell is well to the left. Ten leads for this skin, remember, right now. It's a $50 skin. Mike fills his strike with a six. And almost the spare for Dave. Wow. Probably deserved it. It looked like he was going to carry that five. There's the carryover with the ten box for Mike Giusti. And just for good measure, another 10 box, too. And that brings us to a timeout. We will have a $75 skin in the sixth box when we come back to this tight match at Pilgrim Lanes. Don't go away. A promotional consideration has been provided to WNDS by Romano's Pizza and Subs, located right here on Primrose Street in Haverhill, right next door to Pilgrim Lanes. Great place for lunch if you're in the area doing some bowling. The sixth box of game two is worth $75, and also, uh, Dan, we have a terrific battle going on right now for second place. Mike Giusti has a, a bit of a cushion in first place, but only eight pins separating the other three bowlers right now. And one of those bowls being Steve and just dropped nine pins, left the 10 pin. And oh, Bruno wow. gets a big break. <laughs> Bruno turns around like, yeah, I meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to do that. Steve on the single, and he's got it for the spare. Clutch shot right there for Steve Plant. But how about this one for Bruno DeFeo? Almost, Missed everything. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, Except the wood. Luckily enough, the wood was there to stick around and come forward. But the carryover has been created with spares. Going to take a strike from one of these two bowlers. First, Dave. Boy, he was in the pocket on the Brooklyn side, maybe a little full. And then now Mike. Same deal, Oof. also on the Brooklyn side. So we'll have another carryover. Dave needs marks. This is a tough one. Can't make it happen. Nice spare, though, from Mike Giusti. Mike just keeps rolling along. Ten box for Dave Purcell. 
So another carryover. The seventh box will be worth $105. And this battle for second place continues. Advantage to Steve and Bruno right now, though, because they have the marks up. Steve Plant kicks out the extra pins, two of them. Almost got a strike out of it. That was looked like it was right on the nose, right on the head pin full, but throws a slow ball, gives it pins time to mix, and then that ball looked like it was in the pocket more, and look at the leave he gets. Uh, tough piece of wood for Steve out in front, though. Yeah. Got to go up on the right-hand tip, and then there's no guarantees. Took a long time to study it, and he's got it. Just up high enough to turn it and use that second piece of wood. Go two in a row and trying to make a run at Mike, who was leading. No, oh, Bruno couldn't convert it. Looked like he had made the shot. Put it where he wanted to, I think. But just nothing over there to get the 10 pin. So he'll take a 10. And the spare of Steve Plant leads for the skin, $105. Let's take a look at Bruno's miss. Catches the wood like he wanted to, but just needs some help on the 10 pin. Wow. Mike Juicy in command here for the moment. Just missed the head pin. He'll take six on his spare. Your spare is up there for the skin. Oh, Dave Purcell needs marks, and he will have a spare leave here on the five and the nine. Possibility for another carry over here. Let's see if Dave can create it. No, he does not. Misses everything, so give the skin $105 to Steve Plant. It's nine skins for Steve. A 10 for Dave Purcell. More importantly than uh, not getting the carry over, Dave uh, cost himself a what seemed like a certain spare there, and of course he is in fourth place right now. Only seven pins between Steve and Bruno for second. Bruno needs marks, gets a kick out on the 10 pin. Steve is working on a spare, trying to increase that lead. By Takes seven. seven. He'll be looking for his third mark in a row in the triangle. Let's see what Bruno does with the two, four, and seven. Got it. Cleanly made, and that's a big spare for Bruno. He's got to do something better than what Steve does in every box. Steve for the spare? No. Well, this could get very interesting now. Mike Giusti is looking a little safer now in that number one spot with the open box by Steve. Dave not out of it yet. He's at 183. He's going to have to put a mark up here, though, I would think. This is a $30 skin here in the eighth. Dave Purcell in the pocket. How does that five pin stay up? And there's a strike. Nothing standing up there. Mike Giusti takes the skin with the strike. And would you believe, Dan, that is the first spare of the day for Dave Purcell. There's the strike for Mike Giusti. He's got five strikes today, Mike Giusti does. Dave Purcell had thrown three strikes. Those were his only marks until that spare. How many times have we talked about that? When you're yeah. throwing strikes and not spares, that's usually not a good thing. Strike for Steve. Wow. $30 skin here in the ninth. Going to come at a more opportune time either. And oh, just three pins on Bruno's spare by going through the middle. And that oh. will cost him. A double whammy for Bruno getting just three and also watching Steve get the break on the strike. No, just Bruno just a five box, and that's a tough pill right there. 
Big strike, though, for Steve Plant, and we'll take another look at it. Took a while, but ball's in the 1-3 pocket. Doesn't look good here. And all of a sudden, the 5 into the 9 and uh, 8, and then into the 7 for the strike. Mike Juicy on a strike. Now one more chance for Dave to create the carryover, or it's going to be Steve's skin. And it is Steve's, $30 more. Steve and Mike have virtually all of the skins, all but one, in fact, that Dave Purcell won earlier in this game. There's a spare for Dave. He's trying to hang in there. Six box for Mike Giusti, but I don't think it's going to cost him much. Here's the spare by Dave Purcell. And this spare is keeping Dave alive. He's 16 pins behind. Steve Plant. He's probably going to need strikes, though, in the 10th. Oh, Bruno DeFeo throwing that ball one box too late. The previous box, he had been working on a spare and filled it with just three. $75 skin, the last skin of the day. Steve Plant filling his strike. This would make it awful tough for Dave if you were to spare here on strike. That's He's it. Got it. Boy, Steve's having himself a heck of a game here. Here's the strike by Bruno DeFeo, which has him in the lead for the skin. Both these guys will stay up there now to fill their marks in the 10th. Bruno first. Well, actually, Steve went first. <laughs> A surprise to all of us. It's batting out of order. <laughs> <laughs> now Bruno will go. A 142 for Steve Plant and a two-game total of 251. And Bruno gets nine on the strike for a 116 and a two-game total of 230. get that score corrected in the 10th for Bruno. He'll have a 116 and a 230 total. Dave Purcell needed a strike. Had to have a strike there, so that gives second place to Steve Plant. And it also gives the last skin of the day to Bruno DeFeo. And that'll be an eight for Dave. And a 10 for Mike Giusti, who for the second week in a row will finish first. Again, a very close finish, but 255 for Mike Giusti. 224 for Dave Purcell. So Dave's streak ends at three consecutive weeks, but Mike Giusti rolls on, and Steve Plant grabs second. We'll be back. We're back on Candlepin Skins and another great duel this week. The score is close at the top. Mike Giusti finishes first at 255, just four pins ahead of Steve Plant. They will be back next week. Bruno DeFeo and Dave Purcell are eliminated. And as far as the prize money is concerned, well, it was uh, Steve Plant and Mike Giusti also doing the bulk of the winning. Dave Purcell got on the board and Bruno DeFeo won the last skin of the day. But Mike Giusti, uh, well, he didn't leave it till the end today. He got out in front and was able to stay there, get that top spot. Yeah, he never looked back, and Steve uh, Plant was the one that came on at the end, and uh, he'll be back next week as well. Next week, our incoming bowlers will be from the Worcester area roll-off, and we hope you will join us for that next Saturday. But don't forget, it's semifinal week on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. That's tomorrow at 12 noon here on the Winds of New England. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Have a good weekend, everybody.